Hello all. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. And today we'll be talking about data administration in Business Center. Now we all understand that data is important to our systems. But as Business Central SaaS have database size limitations, not limitations, but you need to start paying for it. Uh, in this video, we'll understand what data administration tools are available in Business Central and how you can use them. Uh, to my surprise, these tools were available in Dynamics Nav and then in the middle they kind of lost, but now they are back. So you'll understand how you can access them, uh, what are the features available there and how you can utilize them. I recently used it in one of our customers whose one table which is not supposed to grow that big, but it actually went that big. And I was surprised that there is nothing on Microsoft, but I was wrong. The, the feature was available. I was never about it so let's get into it but before we get into it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel it helps us to understand how we are doing and do we need to change on what we are doing or not okay and then your comments are surely very important so please make sure that your comments are coming in and we are being informed about the content that we are adding here so let's head up to our business center now in Business Central, once you go into your system, just start searching for something called as data administration. Now there is a separate page built in for this in your environment, which allows you to see what things are happening from a data perspective. This page may look empty. If your database size is bigger, then do a schedule background refresh. If it is a small, because this is Cronus database for me, I can just hit refresh and start analyzing the data into my system. Now it tells you very important facts. You can't just go ahead and delete any data. That's for sure. But it tells you the facts about the data that you have in your system. And as it gets completed, we'll be able to see, okay, this company have this much data or this table have this much data and how my total database size has been calculated. So now if you look at it, uh, I have a demo header table, it seems, which have quite a few records. Uh, which is pretty big in size and then these are the tables the important factor to note is company name one is Kronos USA and then there is my company but in the middle you also see a cross company data and down there you see a summary of it which is that this company database size is 39784 whereas your cross company data is 22744 now what is cross company data Cross company data is the data that is shared across the companies. There are tables which are marked as data per company false and that data is shared like users and uh, your record links or your tenant media. So if you look at it, all the images that are associated with customers, vendors, items, uh, even your uh, uh, email attachments, they all kind of get stored into a tenant media. And this table is not per company, it is per database or per environment in Business Analysis. Has. So from here, I can understand how much common data I have and how much database size per company have approximately. And that sums up the whole size. But this is not it. In this, there is this panel. Uh, let's start from actions. So inside actions, we talked about schedule background refresh, which is simple. Then there's a data cleanup tab which gives you access to a lot of features from document archive so that you can delete expired sales quote there's an expiry field on sales quote and based on this this report automatically deletes any expired sales quote invoice document you can delete blanket sales orders sales order return order and so on and so forth and in any of these options if you go into it you will it'll run a report where you can apply different filters into it before they actually gets deleted invoice purchase orders in the same way when you come down here there is marketing which have tasks around marketing activities of business central cost accounting there are these entries miscellaneous which allows you to delete the physical inventory ledger uh, detached media and duplicate good uh, experienced item the scenario that I was struggling with was 
detached media. So what happens is when you send an email in Business Central and it has attachment, that attachment gets stored into your tenant media set table. And for some reason, now I guess it's get deleted automatically. In the past, it was not getting deleted. And that was drastically increasing the size of the database. Now this page comes very handy in those scenarios because here you can load the detached media that you have into this environment. I might have nothing at this moment because this is not an actual environment. But if you click on it and you see results here, you can then delete those medias which are created in this area, which are orphan, who don't have a, a parent associated with it. So if the email is already sent, uh, and your attachment is still stored that is considered as an orphan tenant media file and you can surely delete it from this page so just come to this page click on load detached media and show you the list of all the pdfs or excels or whatever attachment that you have which are not yet connected to any actual record into the system so that you can delete it in the same way Let's see what else is here. There's data compression. Let me know into the comment section. Have you ever done data compression? As in my experience in NAB was not that happy. I was not that happy with the compression feature, which is typically the date compression that Microsoft have baked in. I haven't tested it out in Business Central, but if you have tried it out, let me know into the comment section and others that uh, how it works. Okay. And then once you compress it, you will also have possibility to delete empty register the thing that i remember about compression is you should only do it if after the legal requirement of your region or country has been fulfilled for that data to be retained so don't just blindly go and compress entries but i haven't used it personally so if you have used it add it into the comments then on the others there is a guide which walks you around all of these features then let's come to the related one There is companies which shows you all the companies that you have into the system and then uh, the tool suggests that you can delete companies which are not longer in use last but not least there is retention policies um maybe we'll talk about it in the next video because this is a pretty important feature retention policy in business central and a pretty good um, uh, feature in business central so we'll surely see that separately and then there is a guide which kind of covers all these things that are tagged under actions and related area. So do check it out because I have based on the businesses that you have, you might not like you might not ship an invoice to sales order from the sales screen from the sales order screen. And that's where these legacy sales orders or purchase order which has been shipped and invoiced um are still lying into your sales order table which eventually um grows the database size which is for sure but it also decreases the performance of your system so i'd highly encourage to clean up any data which is no longer needed and what's best that there is a built-in tool by microsoft inside the base app which allows you to do that so either you are on business central SaaS or business central on-prem any data which is of no use at this moment and Microsoft is allowing you to delete it, I would highly encourage you to come here and understand how much data you have. And all these uh, reports or batches has been built by Microsoft. So they make sure that the code does not delete any data which is currently in operation. So when you delete your sales order, it will not delete anything which is yet partially invoiced or only shipped. It'll only delete if the document has been completely posted, right? So do check this out. And if you your tenant media table is growing at a very rapid stage or rapid speed, I would highly encourage you to uh, utilize this area, which is delete detached media. Now this allows you to delete any media which is detached which means it does not have a parent which is orphan so all here it says all microsoft extension references media directly 
you can either delete individual detached media or schedule a background task so if it's a pretty big list that pops up here you can actually schedule the cleanup task so it kind of keep deleting those entries as the system uh, you know users are performing and you don't have to sit idle and keep watching at the screen highly recommend to check the detached media and then in the next video we'll talk about um, retention policies which is a prerequisite to do before deleting the detached media and then you will be able to reduce your database size and not just reduce your database size but increase your system performance by removing the data which is not needed into the system so before i let you go i'll highly i would like to learn from you that if you have used the compression feature in business central the date compression feature if yes what are your learnings what are your findings let's educate each other because i haven't used it i have no experience with compression doing date compression on business central so share your insights share your stories into the comments you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you learn something new today share it with at least one of your friend or colleague who is in business central so that they start learning from it and start utilizing it for their customers or if they are customers then in their systems and if you haven't subscribe to the channel please do subscribe to the channel there's a lot of content coming up i have a huge laundry list of activities that i would like to record time is something i guess that i'm struggling with but i'm pretty sure that i'll i'll come up with that pace and we'll have more and more content here thank you for all your comments i love reading them and i'm i'm trying to reply to them as soon as possible but i'll see you sooner than later on to the other videos um till then keep learning and keep sharing whatever you're learning with other people so that we make this community as strong as we can thank you have a nice day